is MDS hereditary and what role do genetic changes play in MDS? First of all, there are hereditary forms of MDS. There's some very specific gene mutations that have been identified in families where multiple family members have MDS or MDS or AML. These families identify important genes that are probably driving the development of this disease. And so what we find is that some of these mutations are seen in patients who do not have a family history of the disease, which is most patients, but in most patients who have what we would call acquired MDS. Although they have genetic abnormalities, they are usually distinct from that which causes the familial MDS. And so we have a lot to learn about familial MDS and how it relates to the MDS that occurs more commonly among the population. We know that genetic abnormalities play an important role in the development of MDS. But what we've learned over the last few years is that there are people who are normal, who do not have abnormal blood counts, but whose cells in their blood have some of the same mutations that are seen in MDS. In general, for the people who are completely normal, there's only one genetic abnormality in their cells. And in MDS patients, there's usually three or four or more mutations that are seen. And so that suggests that some of these people may be either at an early stage or simply at risk for developing MDS. And the more mutations you have, the more likely you are to develop MDS. But we do believe that MDS is a disease driven by genetic changes and also epigenetic changes. So the way cells maintain their identity even though they all have the same DNA, is what's called epigenetics. And what's also called epigenetics are things that can be passed on from one cell to another that are not part of the DNA. So the passing on of genetic information through DNA is called genetics. The passing on of information outside of the DNA is referred to as epigenetics. And what's interesting is that the epigenetic machinery in the cell is frequently affected by mutations. So the different genes that are important for normal epigenetics are often altered in patients with MDS. So we believe that MDS is both a genetic and an epigenetically driven disease.